Yo, what up? Welcome to the Binge Eater Podcast. It's your boy, the Zaux Baux. I'm here with Donnie Ducketts, Big Lynch. Uh, and, you know, I wanted to talk about McDonald's changing up their formula. You hear what they're doing to their onions out there? <laughs> I'm serious. Like, I want to talk about a lot of things. I want to talk about Coke. I'm not, I'm not talking about Coke. I'm talking about Coke. Diet Coke. Coke. A cola. Not, yeah, I'm not talking about a bag of Coke. Sit down, bro. Sit down in your car. Uh, I want to talk about uh, Tartar Big Mac. Let me be real. Actually, I don't want to talk about any of that. I want to talk about, but we're not going to say... do that. We're going to talk about. <laughs> it is don't weird. Say... Actually, I actually i I want to talk. I want to talk about golf, but that's later. But I got something to say about golf. Yeah, wait later on episode one hundred. Later, we talk about and golf. Later. Yo, you come back when you die. You want to come back as a ghost or a golf ghost? What was that? You broke the chair again, eh? I mean, broke the chair. Yeah, but you initiated the break. Guys, listen, I got this broken chair upstairs that I put Donnie on. (laughs) He picked him up and put him on it. The guy, I swear, he shot shot himself upstairs (laughs) Um, before. Tell them. Tell them. Tell them about your one bum drum. I neither confirm nor deny what <laughs> happened in this chair. You can't deny that one bum drum. Uh, anyways, he called it a diaper filler. It truly was. This guy is sitting <laughs> on my chair up there. I had a wheel that's been busted off. And if you lean on it in just weird ways, like if you choose a, a particular angle to like rock hard on, and it's that wheel, it'll pop off. Donnie pops the wheel off every time within like because I'm the minutes. only one Everyone who else in this chair. No, Skinny's no, I can. Skinny's could... guy on the podcast can't keep it together. Right? He can't. He can't. You, I love yeah. how I'm on a broken I, I could... chair that that I get blamed for breaking. Bro, you got listen. You got a thirty waist. I don't really want to hear what you have thirty to say waist. Right now. That's like the that's You're the size thirty the waist. And you're breaking the, the chair. The Seinfeld waist. I, I thought he was a twenty eight. I thought he was a twenty eight. He changed it to a twenty eight. No, he no, changed, he changed it, it from a thirty-one to a thirty, didn't he? No, who gives a? F- well, he uh, did take that seventeen-year-old on dates. I heard. Did you, you that one? Okay. Yeah. Why you so, why you, why are you slandering his name like that? Allegedly. I thought allegedly. I thought that was a thing that I heard. I thought there was an article written that he took this girl out on a date on like her eighteenth birthday. Oh, there you go. And I'm like, bro, I'm sure you didn't pull up twelve oh one and meet this person. You know what I mean? Anyways, listen, McDonald's is changing. <laughs> <I don't> know. <laughs> you know what's funny about this is, first of all, Lynch, I know you have uh, the chat GPT out here doing the podcast notes pregame. I don't. I wish I did. I yeah, do. I've seen. I might I've subscribe seen, for 20 bucks a when it, month we, or when we first, guys, when it first started, uh, we had Lynch out here. He was banging out these sexy one sheets. for, sure. And then they, they never dipped to like an unsatisfiable level ever <laughs> but they just weren't on that next mile like that the first six were and that's fine because it was too much we didn't ever used all that so they got to like a normal place to go back and then them. i see as as chappy has chat gpt and all this ai is getting better i'm noticing that these one sheets are coming through a little sexier you know here's what i gotta say I, you know the first six were like that because i i forgot one important ingredient to all of this that ai you'll, you'll never read the sheet like literally all that work goes into nothing. You don't look at it until it's game time. So it's like- I have this excellent ability to look like I don't know what was going on in those one sheets. I knew everything that's happening. You're such a liar. I know you better than anyone on this podcast. Wow. You know what, what's crazy? Is I have 10,000 hours. I have 10,000 hours of podcasting. That's fine. So like, yeah, yeah, you're good off the cuff. I know that already. You think I don't know that? I'm aware. Like, I'm aware of that. I'm aware of it. I'm, I'm, I'm adaptable. It I looks know. like no, but this looks like it's off the cuff. This has been an entirely written bit that I no. did in the mirror. Not true. That's a lie. I like, did it in the mirror, the tarrier. <laughs> like I, I think, I think we're at the move. Like I want to start like pre-production meetings that we can advance. Maybe have do a that. secondary meeting. We're, we're, I'm ready. We're ready, bro. Well, so far, I'm watching so, a lot of Succession. Trust me, I've bro. been moving like a billionaire. You know how it, people watch Suits and they're like, "I know what it's like to be a lawyer." Yeah, yeah. I watch Succession and I'm like, "Bro, I know how to be a billionaire." A lot, you know a lot of texting. You know what's the truth? Succession has been so f- good, like actually just so good. And I feel bad for people who haven't caught up yet. Yeah, I just I got you. caught up at the time of watching this, guys. We're like two episodes away from the series finale. Um, and I did just see an incredible episode. I don't want to get hold too on, into hold on. it. Hold yeah. on. Aren't there 10 episodes? I thought there were nine, 10. Yeah. So we're like three episodes away, but we're like close to the very end here. 
every moment on the show is incredible. That's how perfectly they've built it up. They just do. They do the rich. Like everything. They, the rich is so real in this show. Like, yeah, it's about do. super rich family. It's listen. I can't explain it better, guys. It's like Game of Thrones, but it's with a like a a a, a company like Disney almost. And they're well, trust. more like a, a like company Fox like Fox. Moves. Yeah. But, yeah, like they Fox, own many things. They own like but Disney Fox type does, cruises. That's what Fox also, also same thing. They own. Right. It is kind of loosely based on the Murdochs, but what they're doing that's different than Game of Thrones is they're actually like trying to finish the series properly. Yeah, the difference is oh, the right. writers didn't get <laughs> didn't get a, a, a Star Wars contract at the end that they had to shit them. At the bed end of the day, the at the end of the day, yeah, the writers didn't. How do you how do you feel about that last season of Game of Thrones? Because that's happened now. Like, very very bad. bad. I actually like, I I, I swear like I actually. I'm so mad at them. I'd rather talk about the fucking McDonald's changing their brand. <laughs> well, McDonald's I'm, it's so tired and I have I still have way more and this will illustrate for you and it's going to scare you off this topic. Mm-hmm. Like I have way more co- like conversation in me talk about Star Wars episode 789. Stop. Stop. Exactly. Like, like I have and I'm just going to say like, I have way more of that. I don't even <laughs> want to talk about that. You know what I mean? I'd rather uh, talk about like Trump I, and Trudeau oh, than, yeah. than any of this oh, even. Like that's where boy. we're at right now. That's what Game of Thrones did. Sky, that's what Star Wars true. did. Like that's but you know, like it's all I, it's I have all I do have one 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 note on our part and I, I want to say oh, we we do apologize. We did mass, miss last week and sort of just didn't show up with it. And that's that's probably my fault because I was extremely ill uh and still bouncing back. Yeah. So and we're gonna hit you guys with a double also, so that's on God for real, for real. That's not so. True. Which is really crazy is uh, um, Amir, chef of Epic Meal Time. He hit me up like days ago, years ago, and he's like, he's always on this. Like this, this is a guy. That, like, like last week, I was like, I'm gonna get pizza. I could, I could eat what I want now that I'm a fucking loser. <laughs> So I, uh, I'm going to order some pizza. <laughs> so um, I don't know why you guys are laughing. No, at you're a winner in my books, bro. No, I don't like that. Books. No, you are. Uh, <clears throat> thank you. Um, so I'm, I'm like looking at this weird pizza place near me. No, no business ordering from this random pizza place. It's like, you know, $15 a pizza. And um, while looking at their online website, Amir just <clears throat> calls me and he's like, Domino's is 50% off this week. And he's called me like a thousand times in my life to tell me that. And I'm always been like, shut the fuck up. <laughs> Are you chilling tonight? Like, is that what this is about? Like, I'd rather don't bother me with sales at Domino's. Anyways, this time he called him like, well, he did it. He finally got me. I was about to order pizza. But now that I know Domino's is 50% off, I'll do that. Went to Domino's, squashed it, fucking ate it like I was just fucking. What'd you get? It doesn't matter. I was a fucking. You, you, you ate fucking it, su- sucking everything. Ate it now. over the sink <laughs> like a rat. I always eat over the sink. You know me. Still same old G. But I've been. Mean, like, hey, I do. I, <laughs> I, play, I like to watch TV. Stand and watch my TV across the kitchen, across the living room. There's far no time away. to sit down, Don. Wide okay, stand. The food has to enter the mouth immediately, um, and you want to create as little mess as possible and as little steps as possible before that. I like enters. to burn like four calories too over the span of ten minutes standing. <laughs> standing yeah, yeah. <laughs> those four extra calories. By the time oh, you I sit down know. with your slice of pizza, you've eaten like an entire pizza, and you're like, "Oh, I've got a full, but I'm glad I got this slice of pizza now." I like to all this to say, by the way, that days ago. Um, years ago, uh, Amir hit me up, Chef Atari, and he was like, oh, "The Big Mac's changing its recipe." Oh, he's know. on this. He was on he this one. Up, he hit me up literally like almost a week ago, and he was oh like, "Big Mac's God. changing their recipe." What was it? I name? was like, "What's this? What are you talking about now?" I'm like, "Why well, always bother?" He's gonna start chilling freezing tonight? them now. He's gonna get like cryogenically frozen and stored like an well, embryo. yeah, because he wasn't down. He wasn't what's down. The, what's the Okay. He was like, I'm I'm happy that the cheese is always going to be melted. That's what he told me. Okay. Um, well, I'll tell you guys what it says right here, like the official word. Um, it said softer pillowy buns, like new and story. improved melted cheese that the chain says will make you want to savor at every last bit off the wrapper, which is disgusting. Yeah, yeah. The idea of licking cheese off a McDonald's burger wrapper <laughs> like McDonald's is fucking delulu, yeah. bro. Is that what you really think we think of you? Yeah, I know we're down for you maybe once a day, every day in some weird way, but we're not fucking licking your right. burger and wrapper. And the people that are doing monster. that, you shouldn't be you shouldn't be pandering to them. They're those people have problems. Like don't Yeah, you don't want yeah, that. Don't. You have enough people at your establishment like now me and the boys are not pulling up cuz we don't like yeah, that vibe. But, the vibe we like is fucking sex workers and fighting. 
not <laughs> what you got going on over here. Uh, licking the fucking <laughs> cheese off there. It also says burger patties, which will feature a juicier caramelized flavor from adding white onions while the burgers are still on the grill. So I don't know if you're grasping that, but that's like that White Castle style. And this is where they lost a mirror. He was like, I like that they'll have melted cheese. I guess he is the type of guy, now that I think about it, to lick the wrapper. <laughs> um, <clears throat> shame on, I lick the wrapper. Uh, <laughs> sorry. These burger patties uh, that have the onions on them, White Castle style. Amir was like, no. He's like, the Big Mac should have raw onions. It shouldn't be that. And then McDonald's, where they lost me, they're like, an even more Big Mac sauce. And I was like, more Big Mac sauce. Don't was a variable component. Don't the, tell the your menu. Em, yeah, don't tell your employees that like more of something like because it's already a shot in the dark. Yeah. And the, I'd rather get less than more. Yeah. The only thing worse than that is is more McChicken sauce because you just don't know what the fuck they, that you really don't know what they're going to do. That's Bro, just, yeah, that's, that's, like, that's like, that's like a, a lug, I don't like the game more under that bun, bro. You bite into that. I don't shit. like the way it yeah. move. I don't like the way that sauce move. <laughs> Like if you flick the corner of your burger and like there's like a little dollop of McChicken sauce on the other side of the burger, if you flick the other end, like the way it moves yeah. and jiggles, I don't it's like, like a, that. Very yeah, gelatinous. It's like a non-Newtonian fluid. So I, I, I do and I'm all about those pro-Newtonian fluids. You know I, mean? I do. I do. This does like make me question like i'm a little bit conspiracy like what what's what the f why <laughs> yeah why yeah is doing this? you're why like why is this how like, i already thought did... no but i now that you say it like <laughs> yeah. that like i'm sitting here and i'm like like i was like trying i got to it the angle i, I have an angle it. too but i'd love to hear what you got to say about this okay my angle i said this Jewish actually space when amir called me because i was like i also was like why why and i was like oh um surplus of onions or they're not moving enough onions so the onions do not look as good raw anymore. So they have to caramelize them by putting ugly onions onto uh, the burgers. And in fact, I'm sure the onions that the McDonald's employees are getting that they're adding to the burgers while on the grill are not the same onions that we would have got that used to be raw on the Big Mac. I think they got a surplus of ugly onions and so they've changed this because they got to move a lot of ugly onions that they took a fucking deal on. And so when you grill it up to caramelize, quote unquote, the burger on the grill, um, I hate that they call it a burger and a grill, by the way. <laughs> Neither of those are true. Uh, <clears throat> I think they just they're just trying to move us their ugly onions. You think the onions is, is is really the hidden the hidden gem in this whole story here? Like they're trying to bury the lead under like four bullet points, like softer pillowy buns that will be freshly toasted. Like that's such a load of shit. But what I I think see, don't act like you're doing favors for us. What kind of deal did you? Yeah, get, what's going on? I I think I'm wondering if they're seeing like a like a forecast here, like where maybe bitcoin maybe, is maybe going the, down and you think no they're... maybe the competition like the the sort of burger trends are moving because i always thought mcdonald's is kind of like impenetrable like mcdonald's and mcdonald's like i'll always like a classic cheeseburger i think that's my favorite like fast food burger in general like over every burger i would just, it's just like, like the lowly cheeseburger. cheeseburger and the white wrapper i'll just take the just a regular ass cheeseburger the I would truth eat that. is but mcdonald's everything you're saying is absolutely true but if i don't live in canada then i don't abide okay. by this but do you even in the usa like but they like do you think a hamburger scared, yeah I do, you love think do you think there do you think there's something going on like in the bigger broader burger space where there's they feel the competition like people are maybe moving more Bro, it feels like all these companies are scared these yeah. days mm. it happened everyone's shook bro look at your t-shirt look at your sweater like why is mcdonald's making Okay, like but hype, the merch game merch we like know that. everywhere. The merch game is, is but out it's of just, it's so are, not that's, just but that's a scared company move. Like like Panera Bread also. You like posted this here. Panera Bread has like these like hype beast jogger like fits and it's and a, purse. a baguette a purse, bag way. purse. <laughs> like yeah, that's like this it's like a Panera bread purse and jogging suit. And I'll be here, I'll tell you guys that it sounds ridiculous. Yeah, they look pretty chill. Cool. I actually don't really fuck with it that hard. Uh, it's because like, we don't okay. fuck with Panera Bread. That's why you're rocking the McDonald's. You're like a you're you're an S tier kind of guy. I know, you know? But back to McDonald's. I, I'm still confused though, like as to why. Like I, I feel like there's some underlying burger conspiracy going on right now. I, I do think they're is. trying to move burgers into like the entire their but entire I, burger menu kind of looks the same. You know what I mean? Like I think they want to get 
one higher end sort of designer burger that they could put on a flagship of the fucking of the menu where they're just like but like i wasn't bad at the buns like were you like I big mac's at at big mac's them. my my top burger i actually like to get a fucking like a double big mac even i actually don't even care if the cheese is fully melted me neither like, i said awesome. that to amir i was like i don't want them to start I changing do. up the cheese yeah to be more liquid or some i do shit. love caramelized onions garbage. but i feel like a raw but onion who are we talking about raw here onion might be who better are we talking about yeah yeah of course a raw onion mcdonald's like let me see your true self let me see That's your what, true self it's probably not even onions it's probably just like onion flavored well that the thing like is that. like i feel it's like it's even. coming in pre-caramelized and probably dehydrated exactly it's a cheaper product yeah. that's all they did 100 percent. Uh, you know we're making it's like up, little plastic about, bags of pre-caramelized dehydrated onions that they're gonna fucking probably have boiling the back bro what like i know how like i used to like be like who knows what they're doing out here like i know what they're doing now of course they're doing moves like this the guy that made this decisions like fucking 30 bro like i know how his brain's working <laughs> i realize now that like like at this age like you know like you're not gonna hit an age and be like i'm an adult even like you know friends of mine that have you know a, a 12 year old i'm like i don't think so buddy yeah, like it's well, still like it's it yeah. never happened so now i see some moves like i see a move that mcdonald's did and i'm like bro this was like a couple like 30 year olds like you know 55 year old guy like and a couple people made this call i know what you did here you got your ugly ass onions they definitely look uglier and you're like yeah we caramelized it like and and you know what mcdonald's we don't even care bro we're coming anyways yeah you don't even tell us just do <laughs> your changes I mean. don't even talk to us like about the it. lineup hasn't changed i went by mcdonald's the other day every day i go by mcdonald's the biggest lineup out of any drive through that exists in canada there's no other fast food place that's got as big a lineup as mcdonald's starbucks Chick-fil-A in all texas starbucks. yeah i'm saying i'm saying in canada oh, starbucks we don't, we don't get that craziest lineups all yeah. over the usa too. i i but see the starbucks, starbucks lineup people, and i'm like you're you're weak like if this is how you're spending your time like pick a better fucking no, it's drink because it's because starbucks is like people can customize their customize their orders in the most obnoxious way possible that's just like right like, it attracts a wide it, like, audience because it's not people just yeah. going for this or that i very actually very much enjoy the times that i have a starbuck and i don't i don't i just have like two drinks at starbucks they're coffee, they're coffee shit that's in my opinion yeah it is it doesn't even really i don't feel like i'm awake at all from it i don't get it doesn't take i don't get that hit it's like too acidic for me personally i don't, um, I don't but know. i like i gotta i get a cold coffee there that i like and if there's no line and i get it like it's just kind of like nice that for 50 minutes of this beverage with me this little mini buff you say and i enjoy zero? it like five zero minutes or one five minutes Five zero. You have fifty minutes with a drink that exists for you. Well, yeah, like if I have a nice coffee, like he's like chilling. Like I like take really? little, take little hits of it. Yeah, that's fucked. Wait. What do you think I do? I crack it open and like drink it down. Like it's a fucking. I mean, it's, cold. it's a cold drink. It's not hot. A Gatorade reasoning would be like, bro. Could, what do yeah, you think you this drink, is? Yeah. I'm trying to chill. I'm trying to nurse my my thing. Do you drink? Yeah. Do you drink your hot coffee faster than your cold coffee? Bro, get the fuck out of here! With what do you shit. mean? Who says that? No, my hot coffee stays with me for a while. Drink, also, it takes an hour. Actually, and yeah, cup of no, hot coffee. My hot coffee will probably be with me for like 35, 40 minutes. I feel like you're not finishing. A cold, a cold, a cold, a cold coffee will take fifty, yeah. and neither of these might be finished. Right, by the exactly. way, that is true. Also, so you don't. Both you don't, of these could. You don't be subscribe unfinished. to like five cups of coffee, coffee in the morning because that's how I roll. No, I don't do that anymore. Oh. So you say any more? You there was. A time I have you did that? other things now. <laughs> no, like Chinese Smilax. Oh, nice. But yeah. were you drinking uh-huh. mad coffee like that in the mornings before? Bro, I used to spend like twenty dollars on Uber Eats to bring me fucking coffees. Okay, yeah. I ordered like boxes. Remember, we were like. We would order a box of coffee on oh, Uber Eats, yeah, like yeah. first thing in the morning, like every day. I do enjoy a box of coffee, though. A probably. box of coffee, actually, like even right now, I would it's love a box of coffee. Yeah. But did you find it was like a big transition when you were getting off caffeine? No, <clears throat> no, because people always ask this stuff when I when I optimize or fine tune one thing. No, bro, I'm fucking up on so many other stages. People and it'll always be fucked up because I fuck up like the number two thing on the list after breathing which is sleep so it's like everything people are always like do you feel better and i'm like no i'm always like sleep like not sleep yeah just 
having a bad, I can't even put it in a fucking sentence. Just don't have a good relationship with sleeping. So like, that's the real, and the times that I do sleep well, usually on vacation, I'll end up sleeping well, like, cause I'll just be like tired and I don't have yeah, there's like, a rhythm, my Xbox and computer. Yeah. Yes. And it's a different rhythm and it's exhausting. Um, so I'll just fall into good sleep then. And I'll be like, Oh, this is what it's like. Uh, but no, I, uh, I never like, even this time when I was eating vegan for like a couple months, People were like, were you like, did you feel it? And I was like, other than my boners being harder, there really wasn't a difference. Well, that's pretty big. You're like, other than the... Not that big, bro. <laughs> Let me tell you something. Not that big. <laughs> Fuck, I set that one up. Um, yeah, I don't even know why I took that. No, it's the truth. It's, yeah. Continue. No, I'm just going to say, you know, there's only so many things in a man's life. You're like, oh, well, the pretty much one of the biggest things in my life improved. But other than that, not much of a difference. Listen, how it was before the the rigidness was totally fine. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. true that there is dimi there's you're diminishing. Okay. You're okay at ninety five percent. Yeah, that's it. Extra 5 there's diminishing returns at the end of any fucking curve like that. Yeah, like for what, like one <laughs> percent thicker, I might pop a vein out here. I don't know if I need that. What if it? What if it? Get, what if it increase your um your total fluid uh, per ounce? Jesus. Would, you, would you be? I feel like people that? have to be disgusted by this. <laughs> <laughs> from a teaspoon to a tablespoon <laughs> he's like yes <laughs> oh i'm winning well that's a real question i mean is that that five percent or that extra tablespoon mm -hmm. which would you prefer all i'm saying is that <laughs> i i never really experienced major benefits because i'm fucking up in all other right. areas they're like oh did it feel better <clears throat> when you quit coffee you're like no because i didn't really quit Putting no, fucking smoke, hold yeah, on, hold on. He, qu he quit coffee, but he drinks fucking energy drinks like it's fucking yeah, water. Yeah. Exactly. So, so that, I, that's I a perfect no, example. Because yeah. before it was it was also both. Yeah. You're like I. Still I'd be like, oh shit, it's four p.m. I can't have a coffee. You're the, it's you're the king. Time. You're the king of drinking energy drinks at the wrong time. I, like I see you crack energy. I'm like, what the dude? Fuck is this guy I doing? Know. I'm like, why is he cracking energy? Even like, like when I went to summer one right camp now, like, way far. back in the day. When I went to summer camp way back in the day. Like the first nickname I ever had was Crack Baby. And like I think about like just me being like eight and and that being my nickname at summer. And it's because I was always crazy. And I knew the things that made me crazy. So I liked them. And like a can of coke. You were like got me. You were lit. like you were kid, stimming. You get your hands on a can of coke, bro. Yeah. So I like to pop off. But then you know me, I, I enjoy like pop off. I enjoy my uppers. But then that makes it sound like I'm fucking, you know, crushing baggies at cook. No, I like the over the counter, like in the fucking in the freezer uppers. Like I like these sugar free monsters. I like that G Fuel. <clears throat> I looked at the back of G Fuel, I saw like 300 milligrams of caffeine. I was like, holy shit. Is this for kids? This is this is literally five cups of coffee. You said, do I drink five cups of coffee? No, but I'll bang out a G Fuel. Is that Naruto. what's in the fucking G Fuel? <laughs> yeah, 300 milligrams. Dude, that's what's crazy for me is because I don't drink any coffee. I drink some tea, but not often, not every day. And oh, yeah, you felt you felt a monster. Dude, I fucking drank a G Fuel here before a podcast once and it completely i i had to call in sick at work the next day i, I couldn't sleep. it's almost double the monster i couldn't sleep at night it was well it's the best because you're you're going too far to the other side of no caffeine you got to allow some caffeine in your like life. i have you know, some i do just, have uh, some but it's not like uh i don't have like a a weekly intake it's like well did you drink like when did you start i only started drinking coffee in my like late 20s, i never so, like, started drinking coffee yeah i hated it i never. started i, never at, I started it. at like uh 20 i legit hate two. the taste i find it bitter i find it disgusting i know you, it's not like something to be tasted it's to be like felt right. and consumed so that's it it's like yeah. a weird it's like it's i like i totally moment. understood like the like smelling as part of the ritual only like when when coffee became a thing like like enjoying coffees like smelling it like just not smelling it like some fucking no loser but in a being in the but it just like of it yeah it's just like basking in the the creation of it well it sounds I, so ugly i don't like coffee that no no i do you know I what do, i mean i do like the smell it's like the smell of um a cigarette for me like i still enjoy the smell of a cigarette like at the, the right worst moment, smell that's so crazy no i don't like the smell of a cigarette on a person who's been smoking like if they smoked 
I find I'm like, oh, like when I used to smoke back in the day when everyone did, um, I felt like you never realize how much you really stunk until you were like out of it. And you're like, oh, wow, this person smells terrible. Yeah. Yeah. But if someone's like lights a fresh cigarette and is like just smoking around me, a lot of time I'm like, oh, that's. That's like, pretty. Like, I'm okay well, I used to terrible. love the smell of a pipe. Yeah, pipe is hard. Like when I was younger, like, and I'd smell like a pipe. Like, it's also usually the people in my life that I liked smelt like a pipe. Yeah. It was like some old ass motherfucker named Zadie or some shit. Zadie. <laughs> <laughs> like like that pipe just was like sweet. yeah it smells like vanilla that made me like that's what like that's when i was like bro let me get some of that and everyone's like no you're like you're you're a fucking dumb five-year-old and everyone's like no that's bad you're like i don't really believe you because yeah. he's sick you all call him dad he's doing it i'm gonna fucking skip all your shit and get in on his pipe and then you're off it for a bit but then you see like joe camel and you're like bro i, I knew it i should be in you're like nine years old down you see that cool ass camel smoking cigarettes and sunglasses and you're like that's who i want to be <laughs> you want to be the, you the, be the Marlboro, camel man yeah you looked so fucking hype he looked joe like camel. Good time. He was chilling. and then you're off that you know then, you're like uh, not about joe not into more yeah remember when we were Red. kids and cigarette companies would advertise like major sporting events and arenas oh, yeah. and shit and you would just have Dude, i remember, going to, video the, I remember going to the o at like watching the CFL game and like smoking cigarettes in the fucking concourse, and I'm like, that's so crazy. Yeah, and that dude. Existed. I used to smoke cigarettes on the plane. Yeah, on the, the plane mall. is fucking insane. The mall, like uh, the middle of the yeah. mall. We missed the plane. The plane I, we missed the plane. Pro- we missed schools. Also, people used to smoke in class, which sounds fucking. How much more amazing. killer would it be as a, if you're a teacher and you're like, get to just light up a cigarette in the middle of teaching? Imagine like, you're writing smoking. an exam. I'll see you off. That's so easy. I would take up smoking. Yeah, just I'm like that. I'm fucking smoking everyone's face right now. Well, now, do you guys get pissed off of the, the whole smoking bias for people who, you know, people get mad if you work and you go out for smoke breaks. You know, people who smoke get that oh. small advantage. I feel like it's like a well um a well like it's a it's a well sort of like discuss topic like you know people talk about this it's like, super oh, easy oh, like if that. someone's getting smoking breaks like everyone else it, gets exactly you need time. equal time for that's everyone true, though no no that's but i'm true. just saying like that's truthfully there's no two ways around it if someone is smoking breaks so you get like TikTok breaks, breaks like i get like a five minute tiktok break i get the 100 percent. you should be allowed to go and fucking call your wife if you wanted no it's not that those you should minutes. get it it's like okay let's say there's a couple of breaks in the day you could smoke then you can't smoke when it's not break time but like you realize you're being mad that someone's just killing themselves faster you're like ah oh, that's stupid like, no because then it's like no i don't care what yeah i don't doing. care what they're doing I just i want my fucking exactly. time you want this time. fucking shit company i work for bro i'm sorry you're gonna pay for that nonsense then you could pay for me to rub one out in my car. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Not that I would do that. I yeah. don't know that's on his, on his vegan that was... diet. Yeah. On his... Um. No, but I don't. I feel like it's just like one of those things. I actually, it's like annoying to debate because it's like, oh, like to the like it. Obviously, just if someone gets the time, then you get the time. Yeah. You don't want to like narc on the smokers. Like, hey, he took ten. It's just like go smoke at break time. Look at what we're talking or about. Or it would be annoying also if like uh like it wasn't like that and you, like you have to pick up the slack for someone. Picking up the slack for someone else not being there. It's yeah. kind of funny that we're discussing this cuz none of us work in an office environment. <laughs> yeah, like none of us have a but job. I would I happen. would get fired. I, mean, I would draw a line in the sand and get fired on this right here well, if that did, occurred. You'd probably do it anyways for some other reason, but Frankly, I, it also ties. I don't understand the, what that means, bro. It ties it's, it's, no matter what happens, happens, you're getting walkout. fired. <laughs> <laughs> it ties into uh, Harley's walkout theme, though. I mean, the guy had a cigarette. He brought cigarettes back to the fold, and I know it's. I mean, maybe you should clarify that you're not promoting. Yeah, smoking, bro. Because I feel like it wasn't super. Make clear. cigarettes great again. Uh, what do you mean? I gave the cigarette to Chills, and he snapped it in half. I know, but that's what the like, like the all like that barely got seen. The camera angle doesn't even really. It's like, but if you know the lore of Metal Gear Solid, then you would understand. Well, maybe you should that explain because like you know the lore of Metal Gear Solid, and a lot of people do, but a lot of people no. Don't it's just too. it's interesting. It's I was using examples before about things that were like, oh yeah, it made me want to smoke, like a pipe or whatever. Um, but when I played Metal Gear Solid, like in the eighth grade, 
I was, or seventh grade, I was uh, off cigarettes. They took your life when you used them. And everyone gave you shit on your codex, your codex for it. And they're like, how'd you sneak this in? And he was like, I put them in my ass. He didn't say that, but it's heavily insinuated. <laughs> um, and uh, you, put, you like, use put them, them and they make keister? you lose like, life. Well, keep mine. They make you lose life. They make you lose your life, your health. And I was like, I'm off these cigarettes, bro. And that was a big turning point because this is the seventh grade. So for I live, it's high school is grade seven to 11. And that's when like, you're like, kind of like, I, I was like, I had tried smoking. Like I was at my friend's house and his parents left cigarettes there and I smoked it with him. And we were barely inhaling because every time you inhale, you really cough. So we're just like enjoying blowing the smoke out smoking like seven in a row then you get there and you're like it's like high school at lunch and you have half your friends that are really cool and they're like yo man we're going to smoke you coming and you're like oh i could do this i I can go and be part of this activity have a thing to do and you know there's some some baddies over there that also smoke cigarettes that i see a couple i want to interact with i can go do this then you take a step and then you got your other half of your friends you know in Israel, and he's like <laughs> you're not going to the pit are you you don't smoke and then you're like nah 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 do you smoking believe- cigarettes in high school and beyond that that's well, sorry, you know what smoking not worth made it moves. and vaping not worth it none of it's worth it but, and then I remember I remember like not making moves to go to the smoking part and hearing that uh like people coming back and be like, oh, so and so, they were smoking. They don't even inhale. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm like, oh, shit, bro. I don't even know, like, if I fucking would have inhaled if I were there. Like, you know, people are, are like scrutinizing yeah. that. And they're like, yo, this guy, he so and so pulled up and he was holding the cigarette like this. Uh, I mean, and I was like, I mean, yeah, the, the, the further, what the, the further up your fingers you held the cigarette, the more of a loser Is- you were. So, like, you hold it, I would have got this. You hold it down at the knuckle. If you have that shit up by your yeah. fingertips, you look like a fucking poser. And that's universal because if you ever watch a movie or a TV show where someone's smoking a cigarette wrong, it completely takes you out of yes. the entire thing. You're like, I can't stand it. Right. It makes me angry. <laughs> I'm like, oh, you fucking ruined this whole yeah, thing yeah. now because you're smoking. You're a cigarette. holding it like a narc, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like you look, you like you hold it between your pinky yeah. fingers, and you're like, oh, I'm having this cigarette yeah, over just here. Taking a drag. <laughs> uh, it's like, come on, the director should be like, listen. You're just not cut out for the cigarette smoking. Let's just, we don't need the cigarette. It's fine. Just act the scene. It's fine. I like how you called it a pincher. Like, as if you're, like, a crab or something. Like, you could just say your finger and your thumb. Pincer. No, because I have a child that we talk about, like, what these are pincers. Your pick pincers. Up oh, wow. This is, like, the nomenclature for having a little child. She fucking, uh, from I was District probably, 9. Yeah, right exactly. Now, like, a cry, a prom, She's Zoidberg. I've, been, cry, I've <laughs> been crying all week. I've actually been thinking about you guys. You've been crying and week. think about us? Yeah, I've been crying <laughs> and thinking about you guys. It's, I think it's oh, sad. I like, cried like, about the ugliest thing I meant to tell you guys. It was No, so, no, yeah, no, 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 no. I'm just trying to just Hold on. I'm Stop just trying to that out this. there. No, no, listen, it's okay. You can cry, but I want to say I was crying for you guys because, like, oh, because we don't have a daughter. Is that where you're going? No, Donnie, you yeah, it's no Donnie Jr. Someone said, "Oh, what's Harley? Harley want to have kids?" Someone asked me, like, oh, sometimes my podcast uh, co-hosts are like, "Oh, like, do they want? Do they have kids?" I'm like, "No, no." I'm like, "Oh, do they want kids?" I'm like, "Donnie, he's committed to not having kids." It's Harley says thing. he wants kids, but I feel like he's a guy who wants kids at like sixty. You know, like that's yeah. the trajectory. Are you sad right for now? us? I was sad, yeah, because I, I was like, because I've been yes, watching. Okay, I like that. Uh, I like I, that because it's a pot, you know, like you know. You're, I was. You're I was I'm for sad us. for you. From from, I'll, I'll tell you something though, uh, Lynch. Me and Donnie, yeah, from the ninth to the fifteenth. Fuck. When he's in Lisbon and I'm in London, we're actually gonna be crying for you. Why is that? Just being up at four thirty a.m. Dealing with your thing while we're gonna be fucking crew, we're gonna be doing floor pills, bro. We're gonna be finding <laughs> pills in Lisbon, and we're just gonna take them. Because we don't have a kid like that's going to be counting on us to not take a floor pill. You know what? So yeah. we're going to be crying I, for you, bro. Yeah. Yeah. Love, those floor, that guy is out. love those floor pills. Yeah, we're going to be taking birth uh, control. Uh, uh, <laughs> Even uh, though you got floor pills out of your system at 16, yeah. you were lucky, I guess. And that, like, we didn't really get that. So yeah. we're going to do it. Your now, daughter is going to be flying a helicopter in the water wars. Like, we don't yeah. need to. <laughs> <laughs> we don't need to worry about well, that. Don't say that. I want to. I want to have a kid eventually. I don't want him to be part of the AI. Battles. Okay, Donnie, what's the over under on Harley? The over under on Harley, age. Oh, when he has so of my wife. 
No. Uh, <laughs> no. I won't say that. No, for, for, for when he has a kid. Over under. I mean, that's the thing about Harley is he's getting older, but they stay the same age. So, uh, <laughs> <laughs> it was there. This is a hot, these are hot button it was topic there. It was days. there. I had to take it. Um, look, I don't know if he's going to do it. At all? At all. You think I'm gay? <laughs> yeah, but that's beside <laughs> this point. Um, no, I I don't know. Like, what are you all in on doing it at some point? Me? Yeah, yeah. Later, later. Yeah, he said he said this already. He said he's a hundred. Yeah, but he's he's fuck, gonna do it, man. I don't know. You're gonna be like, you're gonna look like a World War One vet at your kid's high school graduation with your like a. <laughs> I said all this. I said I wanna. I, I said I wanna like go pick up my kid. You're gonna be in a wheelchair with and a I blanket. Want, over I your want legs. the other kids. <laughs> I want the other kids to say to my kid, "Your dad looks so old." Because I remembered those kids in school. I remember we'd be like, yo, your dad's the oldest. <gasps> Look how old his dad is. He's like, have some dad there that's like. Doesn't have all his teeth. Your yeah. Dad. <laughs> yeah, he's like older than your grandfather. Yeah. I'm going to be him. All right. Well, so muzzle okay, top. So, oh, over under. And it's oh, going to be. Uh, 49. Might over be under China. 49. This might be happening in China. Oh. Why China? They're going to be like, your dad's so old and white. Uh. <laughs> You're gonna be Bart Baker hanging out. They're gonna be like Guai low. <laughs> and I'm be like Guai low. More like Guai high. How are you? <laughs> You're gonna say this with Anyways. your polo shirt tucked into your jeans, and your New Balance. It's the future, bro. Uh, it's gonna be tucked into my. It's reflective. Yeah, silver, the V stripe, uh, <laughs> one piece V stripe, fucking unitard. <laughs> <laughs> what did you call me? <laughs> <laughs> did you um? Did you get into you... a fight on a golf course? Oh, don't. I'm saving that one. I like that one. That, that one's good. That's that's a okay. So you're me. crying. That's a personal. You're crying because we don't have the uh, kids. I was crying for you guys. I was. I was actually. I was like almost. I said almost crying just to clarify. Oh, okay. okay. Almost clarifying. Even when you're being vulnerable, you can't fucking. I can't, yeah, you can't commit, be there. bro. No. Like, I was yeah, watching, man, like, I was watching cry, TikToks cry. about uh, kid about like um, people. Oh, so you really cried up? And then I was like, TikTok's not making you almost cry, by the almost cry. bro. No, they're almost. doing the full cry. Almost, I save my if cries you, for the if most. If you're by yourself, time. let me explain something. If you're by yourself or you're with your wife, whatever, you're chilling and you watch a TikTok and it hits so hard, mm. and you swallow it away or do whatever thing, like you cried. I don't care that oh, you, you like. That I don't care that you beat you got, it. Hold on, I don't care that on. you. I don't care that you beat it. Lump in like, the throat. I know. I know what crime. happened. Bro, I know you what go into the did. bank. You stick a gun in the teller's face. You could put the money in the bag. You run out the door and leave it on the vestibule. You rob that fucking bank. That's uh, the truth. I think that's uh, the great example. If you sit there and you're like so. this, your lips quiver like this, and you're like, and you hey. stifle that shit, <laughs> like. <laughs> you're like this, no. you're like this. Look, no, there's no, no tears no, for no, you. No, 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 you know? Don't try and put this on us. Yeah. <laughs> this is, this is like, I didn't, this is like, I didn't, I actually tried to think about this. I looked, I looked at my, I looked at my child and go, man, I can't believe Donnie and Harley, like these guys are fucking up. So no, right bro. Now. That's actually yeah. what I was thinking. I sat there thinking that. I was like, oh man. Bro, listen, my baby cousin, one of the most gangster like, guys I know. Are you finally, let's unpack this. You had a feeling. You had feelings. Yeah. And you got what? overwhelmed. Just, you had your, you, just, you had oh, Fisher sure. Price. You thought about your friends, your family, your child. Don't this wasn't you were crying for us, bro. You were I, just an no, emotional no. man, and it's a good thing. You thought no, about no. your friends, your families, your loved ones, and you had a moment <laughs> of just appreciation. No, no, no. And I, that's I, cool, bro. That's actually Harley, no. Exactly. You, had moment, like our, you had a moment, you just weren't it. there, so he had it for you. Okay. <laughs> 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 uh, listen, I, I'm I'm admitting to my this moment. You're like, having I'm, this beautiful moment, you're like, fucking Harley. <laughs> 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 Fucking Donnie, you Man, know what? guys that, fucked
had a big laugh with a friend of mine. But you're not making us childless <laughs> kids look good right yeah. now. <laughs> I'm on shrooms. I'm, I'm just set us I'm back. On shrooms in a tent by myself, having a full on <laughs> conversation and laugh with my buddy who's not even on the trip. <laughs> he was fucking he was 500 kilometers away at his house and i'm like right dude and he's like right and i'm like totally and i'm like i'm alone in this tent <laughs> so your answer your answer to having no children is to do more mushrooms essentially is what you're i mean to me. well you might as well it's one of your free yeah things. exactly <laughs> you can do you like don't, if you have kids you can't like <laughs> Loose, do like a 4 p.m. mushroom. Yeah, you got to be ready for the principal to call. And be I think like, the, problem is, the problem is that there's there's some people who do do that. That's the issue, probably. <laughs> so Yeah, actually. Yeah. That's for a sad podcast, <laughs> not this one. I hear about this Tartar Big Mac. So this is a, a like a raw was actually mad Big at Mac? This. Really mad at this. This pissed me off. Is it? Yeah, when I saw it on paper, it said Tartar Big Mac, and I was like, Tartar sauce Big Mac? That's fine. It's the same shit. But no, no they just did steak tartar. And you know what? Like, I think the. <laughs> Carry on. Yeah. <laughs> I don't need a Big Mac to be softer or anything. Yeah. Why are they you fucking don't fuck with, with it McDonald's so much? form? No, that's not McDonald's. No, this it's is not. internet content. This is like a pure, like, this is like epic. Like, I'm surprised we didn't do this. Time, guys. Like, why didn't we do this? <laughs> it's not that hype, I guess. Yeah, it's not I did epic. see something that, I, I did see something that it got me inspired, even though I said I don't want to make an epic mealtime video. This one that I saw, uh, the story that I saw about people smuggling fruit roll-ups into Israel, I was like, damn. I'm like, this is actually kind of a Really, bro? You want to talk about idea. Israel right now? Okay. <laughs> I'm talking Let's about fruit Let's go, roll-ups. dude. Let's <laughs> go. TSO. No, like the tartar one, like, I'm like, oh, that's annoying. But the who? Uh, calm down. Uh, the, tartar uh, binks? No, they're t- they, they, there's like this. Cut it, Harley. TikTok. I'm serious. There's uh, this TikTok <laughs> trend that caused all the fruit roll-ups to be purchased in Israel, and someone trying to smuggle suitcases of fruit roll-ups in. in I don't understand why that, that's smuggling. They isn't that them? just called? I don't get isn't it that either. Just called importing. So this bringing, is what I didn't understand. Like, they were like, they're going to jail. They're smuggling fruit roll-ups. I'm like, who gives a shit? They're fruit roll-ups. Why is this? Yeah, like this, this, why is this, this man is a candy. Wholesale. We need a lawyer like, here. What the fuck are we talking about? We need a lawyer. No, he's like, oh, they need it for ice cream. And they're like, what do you mean? Like in the video, he's like talking because they just open these suitcases, all just full of these Americans, full of fucking fruit roll ups. Well, they're like, you can't do this, bro. You gotta like, you don't have a permit. You have to like give us some of this money. You can't resell. People like, have to get paid. Exactly. And it's not just you like, guys on the plane that put all these fruit roll ups. <laughs> and where did they get like, busted? at it? In Israel. Oh, in Israel, bro. They went to like this is the one the strongest this actually, security on the planet. Like, I I I went to this place, and when I went there, I went with a bunch of friends, and the they were so strict in their questioning of why I would go there, and they asked me if I knew other people in the line, and I said yeah, and like. They asked me who, and I and I said who, and then they took those people, and when they questioned them, they asked them if they knew anyone in the line, and then they asked how we knew each other individually, and they kind of like cross-referenced, asked us questions back and forth, and this was like on, on, in the USA, like before I even got on their plane to fly to Israel. Bro, have you seen the news? Like, come on. Right. Exactly. So that's not the place to bring fucking four hundred pounds yeah. of something you shouldn't bring. But like, like I couldn't even bring my Jewish ass to fucking Israel without getting grilled. They're not letting these people bring up a, a bags of fucking fruit roll ups. That's what they they're in like fucking suitcases. Like it through the X ray. The first so like guys, anything like, to declare? Nope. <laughs> and then they put their shit on the he's X-ray like, and they just see a hundred thousand of the same fucking like, thing. I got a hundred and set. They actually has one hundred and seventy kilos got confiscated of fucking fruit roll-ups. One hundred and seventy kilos. Roll-ups. That's like three hundred and fifty pounds they're, of fruit roll up. Yeah, three hundred seventy-five pounds. They're wilding. So, but 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 it all started because of this trend hit Israel, I guess. Uh, this fruit roll up ice cream. Don't trend. say hit that's Israel. That's true. It um, arrived. It, it arrived in via telephone uh, <laughs> through an app from China. Um, that was. I don't even know how much you really want to say Israel either, but okay, continue. 
Okay, so they were going to this country with fruit roll-ups. And what uh, do you mean this country, bro? <laughs> <laughs> it, it, Don't it's say the, country, uh, same place. Okay, okay, you guys. Are probably, <laughs> uh, uh, love these terrible you, bits tonight. That's really, <laughs> really. Yeah, that should have been together. the name of the podcast. Uh, bad bits. Yeah, okay, that's what were the you title saying of the episode. About what were you saying? How, what you said about I'm, trans? Well, we, we, made this, <laughs> <laughs> we made this whole fucking giant fruit roll up back in the day, and we thought that was was sick. But we didn't really consider the fact that we could have put a scoop of ice cream inside of it. Would have been and put crazy. it in the freezer, and it would have been so much better. Like we would have needed so much uh, ice cream, but that would have been fire, bro. Yeah. Fruit roll up in the streaming. freezer is like glass. I was streaming. But that's what it is. Yeah, you, that's what you people wrap, like. You wrap some ice cream. Like, it's like a crunch to the to it. You know, Insane. these people, uh, this dude came into my stream and uh, he was like, Yo, man, I was in an epic meal. And I was like, Okay, buddy. Yeah. Seriously, I was in an epic meal, man. And I was like, Yeah, okay, which one? He was like, You had that big popsicle and you came out on front of your house and you were trying to cut cut it out of the garbage can. And me and my construction buddies were working on a house and you let us come <laughs> sit down on the pavement and lick it. And I was like, you guys all looked at each yeah. other. In fact, I'm like, yeah, this guy's telling the truth. Is actually, I know that that sounds outlandish, but that's the actually uh, the amount You're of required like, detail that's I would so need. So crazy, it you might like just this, have happened. They all, they all circled around this giant popsicle and started sucking on it together with these three random dudes that were working on the house across the street. God, that uh, sounds. And I stood up on coke, and I'm like, this video is gonna be a banger. <laughs> <Dude>. <laughs> I'd rather lit. And then I was like, oh shit, my Tinder. I think I'm gonna banger. That's Harley's popsicle phase where he was eating a thousand popsicles a day. And we're like, I guess we should make a popsicle happy meal because you can't stop eating popsicles. I was like, what are we gonna do with all these popsicles? <laughs> <laughs> make a big I was one. At should we make an epic popsicle? So thing? I'll go into the, I'll dip into a story from the raw tapes here. But there was a, not naming names, but there was a time where um, somebody was uh, actually not Harley. No one in this story is Harley. I could, that's the one thing I can confirm. Okay, we'll not see. me either. So, like you can't just throw me. You were not. Sure. Nobody in this podcast was there, but me. Thank you. And thank you. Then we don't fucking care. About <laughs> it's true. It's true. Us. 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 Um, okay. I get one it. guy is chopping up. Tell us about this Jew. You one know. guy is chopping up lines of coke, and the other guy takes a popsicle oh. out of Harley's. Are you sure this isn't me? And Lynch? <laughs> another guy takes a popsicle out of Harley's freezer, and the guy that's chopping up the lines of coke says. Hey, dude, that's your third popsicle today. And the dude, this, he goes, are you fucking serious, man? You're literally cutting up lines of cocaine. And the guy who's doing the coke says, I'm just saying, man, that's a lot of sugar. <laughs> was he joking or being 100 serious? 100 serious. And that should tell you who it was. Oh, he was being 100 yeah. percent. He serious. was fucking like, taking down Hollywood, Hollywood sized lines. <laughs> uh, and yeah, none of these people were me, but I do know of the story. <laughs> He's like, I'm just saying, it's a lot of yeah, sugar. Um, that's a, you know, listen. Yeah. I guess when you're hopped up on the... I guess when you're keto, the, uh, you get concerned. like cocaine is yeah. keto, is the fucking... That's sure, the not. lesson for at sure the end of the day. In there you're not allowed to do. For sure, the stuff in there that's... Uh, yeah, but heart. I think that you burn so many calories from that heart rate that it probably evens out. Oh, you do like the Andrew Huberman kind of like jitter where you're like burning more <laughs> Yeah, calories. exactly. You, you shake more than other people. Yeah. <laughs> um, well, who was beefing him? Someone beefed him. Huberman? They were like, yeah, bro, the sauna doesn't uh, fucking do what you say it does, bro. I'm, su I'm surprised more people aren't coming at him because I feel like he's like making a lot of claims. Role. Yeah. Well, yeah, like, but too big a role that for one. someone to be like, I don't know, man. Like, I feel like you're not right about everything. <laughs> yeah. Well, he hasn't told you to sun your perineum yet, so he doesn't oh, know the whole nice. truth. Okay, I want you guys just to like. Do me a favor and watch this 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 golf video I sent you because it's just important to me. Just to, fine, but then you're gonna owe me one. In front of us, we can't go any faster. I didn't drive it. I didn't. Oh shit! There it is. Oh shit! There it is. Dude, we can go viral. No, 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 no. Yeah. 
Where's it? Where the fuck you been, Ranger? Huh? He said, where the fuck you been, Ranger? This is joke. So this fight on this golf course. So is this a Lynch almost? Lynch almost got into a fight for what sounds like the exact same reason on a golf course here now. So, so you're gathering. So hold on. Yeah, this is happens. this about the speed of the but team? But you rarely. So there's always this drama that goes on in golf because you can't see everything in front of you. And so when you play with people, and this is the sort of like style of golf, I get, I get served a lot of sort of relatable golf content, you know, things that you people experience on the golf course like universally. And that's why it's so great, like any type of relatable content. And in this case, an actual fight breaks out, which is very rare at a golf course because there is a certain amount of very rare. Except fires. this almost happened to Lynch. <laughs> for this and exact it, but I wasn't the I wasn't the and this shit happens but, in Curb, and we all know Curb is exactly like real life. But but this is the but that's the thing is like people you always you always get mad like people always get mad at the group in front of them because like oh you're slowing yeah. me down. Everyone's like, oh, there's, there's a whole thing about pace of play that's just something that bothers everyone. And you don't want to be sitting around waiting before every shot. You want the pace of play to be around four hours or four and a half hours. And and there's a, a marshal who goes around who's supposed to, like, help set the pace of play. Like, if someone's slow, they're supposed to do this job where they go and tell these people, hey, you're 10 minutes behind schedule. Can you hurry the fuck up? You know? But I'll be honest, unless you're at like a private course, for the most part, like the marshals are kind of chilling. You know, they're just sort of cruising around, chatting with their friends, you know, taking in the golf course. Hitting on all the girls. It's rare. Showing off yeah, their badge. All, 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 all one of them at the golf course, yeah. But like it's rare you see an Shout actual out to Betty. altercation happen. And uh, these guys uh, got after it, man. <laughs> it's like a full blown fight because they the guy and the guy's the same. Someone hit like, the ball, it sounds like. No, I he's think like, he hit the ball into the group. No, he's like, no. There's like, well, there's no, people that's it. If there's people you playing the hole and you like knock your ball at the four dudes who are halfway through yeah. the course, like you could just fucking knock someone in the head in the face. And I and I've done that by accident, where like you just you can't gauge a distance necessarily, and you 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 set up and you tee off, and you're like, this oh, is sure. okay. You could tell actually, this makes sense logically for you to tell people that you can hit the ball 300 yards right now. Uh, well, I mean that's that's a given. I don't have to even say that. That's no, you do because they won't be understanding. They think they're going to think that it's because you were knocking the ball in a danger zone. But you're what you really want to say is that you couldn't like, help how strong you're the best you golfer. You're, ball, sorry, right? you're the best boxer of our whole family. I'm the best okay. golfer that's, of our whole. Family. I would have like, chosen that's something else I could do. Like I would have been like like <laughs> best gamer, best pro gamer. No, I thought I didn't like gamer either, and then I was gonna say public speaker, but then I took that back because I think they're your brother, maybe. Yeah, not just that. Like I think like a couple people. Like even even the women in my family, like if people had prep time, there's people in the family that could bring the heat. Like, really? yeah, I don't even think I don't even know if that's me. So you're nothing really? is what. You yeah, yeah, I think so I'm great nobody. at that. I just think like like Jill can fucking probably prep something big. Yeah, she probably do something like, you know, Houston's going to come and fucking do something big, you know. Okay, do me, do me. What about me? <laughs> you'd be all right. You'd be all right. You know? <laughs> the problem for you is that I'd really just be gunning for you out there. I'd be like, oh, my speech is going better than Lynch's. <laughs> if I'm going to be selected for public yeah, but speaking I, on I behalf got, of the I got family, a ghostwriter. I got a better ghostwriter than you. You're going to be chosen for military press. Lynch walks out with a cigarette. You, can do, you, can, you have the strongest shoulders in the family. <laughs> you could, yeah. you could choose. We choose you for lifting a picnic table over your head oh, and definitely. throwing it. You're still impressed by that. Eh? That's still one of your favorite feats of strength i've ever done is yeah it? i got it well i got to tell everyone let me explain what happened you, this is like a, a this. time it's in already my, been told it's already yeah, been really so, yeah there was a time in my life where i was very fit and I, I saw lynch picking up a big picnic table and lifting up <laughs> over his head and throwing it and then when like no one was around like i tried it out and like picked it up and like couldn't really get it and like then my like trying to find balance under all the weight, like made my legs go this way and that way. And so I started picking up mad speed and like running with it. Cause like I was Stay trying to balance it. it. Yeah. Yeah. And then I just like fucking like threw it toppled. And when I, when I die, you strong, better, you better bro. say that in my eulogy as the best public speaker of our entire family. Well, I'll be like, yo, he yeah. dunked. He's like one of the only people in the family that can dunk. Yeah, you got to embellish everything. Nah. Like, he actually picked up two picnic tables with one hand on in each hand, and he was shoulder pressing them. He picked crazy. up a picnic table with a full family having a picnic on it. Yeah, but this uh, back to this video. Do you want to play golf now after watching that video? Do you? Because now you're a boxer. Like you're actually an ass an asset on the golf yeah. course. Like, Bro, I've, I've been a boxer. Like golf, dude. I want to be a police officer. 
I want to do all that. And now it's not going to happen cut, after cut all that. that cool, <laughs> yeah. All that cool stuff I said. But like, yeah, bro, I want to do whatever I want. I want to be a police officer. That'd be cool. Yeah, Why? Because it's fucking crazy. Yeah. So I'll be a firefighter. Firefighter is crazy. Uh, so I'll be a postman. Yo. It could be whatever I want, po- Postman, dude. Postman actually seems kind it's of It's a chill. very oh. chill job. It's very difficult to get nowadays because they're increasingly, like, not needed. But Yeah, but I'll be like, bro, I'm a pro gamer, good at public speaking, and I've boxed before. That, What's that's your up? CV. That's your CV. You're like, Crater Clash 2. I was but there. I do, I do see. Check the tape. I'm ready to be, uh, I'm ready uh, to be a, I the saw... best memory of a no, mailman ever. Hold on. I saw... I don't, I don't even I don't want to tell you. Ugh. No, yeah. <laughs> I don't want to know. It's like I even just like saying what this is. Like like years ago, I saw my old acting CV oh. that I would like use, like send out to no. like. Yeah. Bro, you got to like, upload Craigslist it. Audition. Got to upload it. Yeah, Fuck. yeah right. Who cares. But anyways, You're everything 40. else. Is, just do it. As deeply ugly as it is, like especially just knowing me, it's like. But like the 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 one thing to take away that like on one part of it, it was like skills, whatever, like stuff. But it was like, like accents that I can do, and like one of them's like Jamaican. No, (laughs) and I'm like, bro, like 2007, sending this shit out with my picture attached to it, which means other people do have it. Possibly even someone yeah. listening to this podcast has it. Um, Fark. Fark. I, I, I did something with you once, Harley. And, Uh-oh. and it, you want to talk about it now? It was, uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, it was like the only actual professional shoot that I did with you. And I had to like make a video to show the production team. And I remember once like you just... Sh- I don't know if you opened your computer or whatever, but I saw that like the video was on your computer. I was like, fuck, I didn't know Harley was getting it too. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, it's it's mine. Yeah, it's like it's yeah. it was between me and Harley the, actually owns it. Like, it. Yeah. I owned it. It's owned by bro. next time for yeah, yeah. it. It was it was between I, Jerry, I own it was this. Between me and the production assistant. And you're like, fuck it. It's on your desk. The production assistant. I think we hired we did hire you for that though. I think you got a credit for that, didn't you? Uh, possibly. Yeah, yeah bro, I'm, you have an IMDb page. That's what's crazy. <laughs> yeah, I have a boomer question for you. Uh, probably for Harley. Yeah, I get an iPhone, the Samsung. <laughs> uh, I am. Um, I'm, I'm not that boomer, but like, I Dubs just got an iPhone. He put up his video and you, I texted you him. You sound like a blue boomer now. That's big. That's You're like, I, I dubs no. got an iPhone. <laughs> yeah. Okay, dad. <laughs> go back to bed. <laughs> <laughs> but I texted him and I saw that the text message was blue and I was like, oh, shit. Oh, I, moving on up. I was gonna, everything I was going to say doesn't matter right now. <laughs> oh, he doxed his phone right now. That's crazy. Um, I but like, you should know. I do changed. I I do. I I refuse to keep up with the emoji game. Like I'm not really into the emoji scene, but I'm forced to look at a lot of emojis. (laughs) Okay. And uh, and there's there's this one that's being posted nonstop, and I'm like, it's like the new sort of half emoji, right? Where like I think it's like they're doing something salute. I don't know what they're doing. Salute, maybe. And I I refuse to try and understand what it's all about. But I'm here admitting to you that, like, I just, I like people post them, like, what the fuck's this mean? I'll tell you, the this is entirely of- wrong. Maybe it's entirely wrong. And it's kind of weird that I would think it's this now that I think about it. But I defaulted that I remembered the like old Marines ad. Exactly. Was half the face of the soldier. And you just saw the saluted side, like on the TV, on the commercials, or on the poster. Or wasn't there a couple of faces and they were cascaded? on each other i just thought it was on like kind of like one so you're like it's just like i like saluted like yo, know like no problem yeah salute. I, I got it but why half though that's the part honestly that it was like on the commercial that i remembered it was like or like it was like right there yeah it was that uh, or like, yeah I, it was like a be all you can be i don't use i i'm so far I, i'm so off of emojis these days that like i just put like uh semicolon with like uh clothes oh bracket. god like, all right see you later i boys. hate when people smiley do that face. it's like fucking icq <laughs> shit i love the that smiley yeah. face yeah, i do that on purpose actually oh i like the smiley face i drop smiley face that's that's that i rather Bro, than what's do the so, emoji, what's do so that. ugly about me is like i could put like the smiley face and my iphone will be like i think you mean this super cool emoji yeah. we designed for that and i'm like <laughs> no this one makes more sense right now yeah 
Don't ask me why, but the vibe of this. So if I was to draft a text, if I was to draft a text to like you and Donnie in our group chat, and I'm like, "Hey guys," and I want to drop this sort of half face. I'd be like, "There's a fucking what's okay, my sorry? What's my text saying? Like, what am I saying to you guys? You are not hitting us with a half. Yeah, we salute. reply. Oh, it's a reply. Were, yeah, yeah, it's a reply. Okay, so I reply. So you're like, sure. "Oh, I'm gonna be five hours late today, but we're still gonna set the time at seven. I'm definitely like, not saluting a guy who's um, five hours. And I'm like, no bro. problem, bro. Salute. It can be sarcastic to my salute, or it has to be like. Uh, oh, it could definitely be sarcastic. No, it would be like yeah, for me. The salute, salute would be like, you're like, yo, I'm gonna be five hours late, but we have to do this podcast anyways because it's fucking important to get this recorded today. And my response to that is, fucking ura salute, fucking <laughs> ura, bro. <laughs> so I did look up. Uh, marines uh the few the proud and the first thing that came up is a half face guy oh okay it's this ad here and it's uh a united states marine now is that emoji st is that still cool like is that still like a good emoji? that's new i i i like that yeah. emoji that's one of the it's few only a emojis few months I like. old i didn't mean to go this deep on emojis i just was like it sounds like you did though well, I, look, I'm a bit. I'm just. I'm getting old, so I, I don't try. I don't try to. I don't get involved because I feel like the emojis are so fleeting. Bro, it's like this is cool. Now it's not you're cool. You're crying. You're like it's they're like, not even gonna know what their daughter's emojis could have been. Yeah, <laughs> that's actually it's like, actually uh, that's gonna happen to me. Like my daughter's not old enough to like call her. Bro, I'm like, I'm crying for your mean? daughter. Dad's the fucking biggest idiot, bro. You, <laughs> shit about fucking you know what's emojis. crazy? You know, you know what's crazy? It's like one day she'll be. old old enough to like go on youtube and listen to this fucking dumb ass oh podcast. my god <laughs> like hear my take from being a 30 you know in my in my the age i'm now really <laughs> you didn't want to drop your fucking number i'll be there? i'll be as i'll be as um i'll be as old as harley when he's having his first kid and she'll be like oh this is you like you sound like a fucking idiot dad like what are you talking about like shut the For fuck up and you're gonna be like so i got into a fight with this bitch because she didn't give me a traffic report when i went to pick up my mother <laughs> yeah i didn't get my i didn't really get my, think uh, in the future that we're gonna have everyone's gonna have the internet and we're just gonna be listening to podcasts and life's gonna be chill eh? as so you really think no i think that th these files are gonna exist 10 years from now and she'll have an opportunity to look at it if she wants yeah and everyone's just gonna have electricity and power and easily access the cloud now you're being very That's much like think. donnie and you gotta she's gonna be like yeah. why why did you and your friends make an entire podcast about cookies? Like, <laughs> bro, she's gonna be like, "Why did you bring me into this world, Father?" Why they talk about boxing? I, I am, an entire I'm, episode, I'm, then just I'm swerve walking back to the food. apocalyptic yeah. Canadian wasteland. I'm in the water with wars. my with my dog here <laughs> in a silver onesie. <laughs> on, do you really reflective that? Do you really metal? Hard. A my a no, my I don't think so. I, I am actually really banking on AI big time. <laughs> There's oh, a yeah. lot to be scared of, okay. and I'm just hoping that AI ends up being chill and mm. solves these major problems we have that we're not solving. Yo. And the maker, I thought the who was it that said that he was just like, bro, we're not focused on the right shit. We Oh, when you go to space, what's it called? It's some Reddit shit. Donnie, you probably know what this is called. What? When you go to space and you look at Earth and see all of Earth, you're instantly like, man, money doesn't mean shit. Like We're the, fucking up this like planet. Like the pale blue dot syndrome or something? It's something, yeah. Like Oh, like when you like go on one of those origin, like one of those shots the uh, shots up with like the Jeff Bezos and you're like and you're like, what the fuck? Like Yeah, like astronauts apparently like your come whole perspective back changes your on life. everything on Earth. You're just like you look at you start to look at Earth as a unified like body with everyone being a part of it all together. And you're instantly like, man, we're fucking up the planet. Man, money's not important. Man, the little petty problems we have are not chill. We need to figure out how to like keep this shit working. Is that what you tell yourself when you start your OnlyFans? <laughs> I don't have an OnlyFans. Oh, sorry. I thought you were that. And if I did, yeah, it wouldn't be on Earth. One thing before you wrap it up, we just released a new video. Um, and uh, and what? And uh, you need to watch it actually because we break down. How Harley overcame failure, you could say. Failure. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Or or how he got knocked out. One of the two. But uh before we before we wrap this up, go check it out. We released a sort of whole behind the scenes sort of doc about our Harley's creator clash experience. Super well done. Wanna give a shout out to uh um Mike the Menace and uh Big Eric and um 
just doing a bang up job and and uh yeah man check it out we put a lot of work into it so uh by the time this comes out it will be live shout out to your family <laughs> right <laughs> Listen, guys, thank you so much for listening to the podcast. We might have cut the last eight minutes or so if it ended awkwardly. Someone said some shit. I ain't going to say it. Uh, <laughs> Sorry. You're all chill. Donnie Duckett's holding it down. Big Lynch holding it down. And uh, me also. Thanks for listening. Trust no one except us. And stay hydrated.